of the valve doesn't. Cyber Angels are ready to go. Oh, hey, that looks useful. I could tribute that Benton and Drytron. Hey, no, you stop that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's all the hostility coming from? You do this every time. I try to play a fun deck, you find a way to use one of my cards in your deck, we play for a few months, and then Konami bans it. I'm not letting that happen again. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Name one other time that's happened. Ronin Toten, Submarine Frog, Wetlands, and to top it all off, Substitute. Frogs are ready to go. Hey, sorry to butt in like this, but Substitute doesn't have a once per turn restriction, does it? Mm -hmm. Um, well, I guess not. And neither does Ronin Toten? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Hmm, that's a... Uh... Hey, do you have any spares that I could trade you for? I've been working on this Mass Driver deck for a while, been trying to get it to work, and I think, I think this could really help. I don't see why not. Hey, good luck with it. All right, but in my defense, they did also ban Mass Driver, so if you think about it, I'm a victim here too. Okay, but that was a one-time fluke. How was I supposed to know that was gonna catch on? Name one other time that this has happened. Perfect, Teller Knights are ready to go. Now I can use Tolmias to spring Constellar Diamond on my opponent when they least expect it. I'd like to see them Foolish Burial now. Wait, does Tolmias say that you could make any rank 5 with him? Yeah? Why? Oh, I, I picked up Pendulum Magician, and it's cool and all, but I thought, what if I try and make Cyber Dragon Infinity? Why would you think that? Why would you ever think that? Well, but like, who has three level six light machines laying around, right? But then I thought, okay, I could use Ptolemaeus to go into Nova and then rank up into Infinity. Well, that does seem pretty cool, uh, but I was kind of hoping that I could. Hey, thanks for talking it through with me. Gotta go get to deck building. See ya. No, 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 no. Okay, but if you're still mad about that, think about the Cyber Dragon player. They honestly still won't shut up about how I stole their thunder. At least they still get to play Infinity. I'm stuck here playing Dark Teller Knight Batlemaeus. And let me tell you, it is not as fun without the extra turn effect. Did you ever resolve that? As a matter of fact, I have. Once. And I guess I still lost that game. Uh, what can I say? Necrozza Valkyrus is a heck of a battle fader. Right. So if I could just borrow that Benton. No! Every time this happens, one of my decks gets ruined. When you wanted to try and break Zodiac, I lost Invoker. When you wanted to try and see if Brilliant Fusion would work in Thunder Dragons, Gem Knights lost one of their best cards. And don't you even get me started on Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. What was I supposed to do? Not lock out the extra deck? Yes! Every time a new big deck shows up, it takes something really good from another, and it gets banned. And that really really sucks. I just want to play my Cyber Angels in peace, so for once, just this once, could you not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hear you, and I, I get that. I definitely understand how that can be frustrating. But I do feel like you could understand a little more that this game is for everyone, right? Just because I'm playing a meta deck doesn't mean that I deserve to enjoy it less than you do. I don't know, I just... I don't feel like that's right either. And besides, isn't it kind of cool to see a card that you really like that would normally never make it to the top tables get its time to shine in the spotlight, even if it's banned later? I guess we'll have to agree to disagree on this one, but I can see your point. It would be pretty unfair of me to expect you to not play at your fullest, but maybe this time wait a format or two? Just so I have some extra time to play the deck. So anyway, I can use Ben 10 to search Majesty's Fiend, and then... No! 